Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to take 796 of episode 62 of the Weekly Wave. And welcome to the One Bite Challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Weekly Wave. I'm Matt Waters, and this is the Two Bite Challenge. My girlfriend is married, don't worry. Hi, I'm Matt Ward, and both of you do my challenge. Give me while I ponder life and death. One last bite. There's a little nettle. Wow. I know what you're thinking. This is the weirdest Viagra ad you've ever seen. But it's hot. It's super hot. You don't even need the pill. It's so hot. Well. Is this a blooper? Are we start. We're starting. Whatever. Welcome to episode 62, everybody. Let me wash this down. This is the one gulp challenge. No, that's just nasty. Well, what you just saw was the one bite challenge. I'm probably just going to roll the music over that because it was quite graphic to listen to. And um, I feel better off for it. So it's a good day here. It's a wonderful Tuesday. You might be seeing this on Wednesday, but it's currently Tuesday. And uh, we're recapping a week on the uh, on the road. It's been a good kickoff to 2022. We're talking about the big crash on March 4th, the live album of the century, the world's greatest band, the recipe, the recipe. So uh, let's start by talking about the uh, the crash. Uh, tickets are on sale now. If you didn't know, uh, we have the general admission ticket starting at ten dollars, and then the butter bundle at thirty-five. There's only a hundred available total, fifty of each. It's gonna sell out, so please get them sooner rather than later, because it's just gonna be hard to tell you that you can't come to the show because you didn't get a butter bundle. Sorry, that was part of the one bite challenge. What is this? Mmm, crumbs, crumbs. I know, this has been a disgusting start of an episode, but let's keep moving. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Not many people watch this. It's going to be okay. All right, I want to tell you about the J's of the recipe, the gentlemen that make it sound good. What if gentlemen was spelled with a J? Now, that'd be a vibe. Gentleman Jack, let's change that to a J. You guys want to see a one gulp challenge of some gentleman Jack? Okay, stick around until the end of the episode. Uh, let's start with Johnny Disco. Johnny is one of the original members of this band. He is uh, the king of all things funky. He is the father, Dela Miles. He's one of my best friends. And he's also the Blue Water Kingpin. So uh, let's check out some Johnny Disco antics. This is at the Bell and Bear over in Montgomery, Ohio. A uh, fantastic club if you're looking for a night on the town. Uh, where's this video? Where's this video? Oh, Johnny Chair Dance. The yar she blows. Okay. Johnny goes in the crowd most shows, whether it be a bar gig, whether it be a corporate event, whether it be a wedding. He doesn't give a shit. He's going in the crowd. He's going rogue. So we normally just let it happen, uh, pray that it's under three minutes so we don't have to keep vamping. And uh, this was an especially excessive night. Come on, baby. Johnny's slapping hand is so crazy to watch. Did he always hit that girl with his headstock? That would have been crazy. Just watch someone get bashed by a five string. Okay, no, that's inappropriate. Not bashed. A little noggin bump. A little noggin bump. Okay, Johnny Disco going to be at the big crash rocking it. All right, next on our J's is Mr. Jamarco Thomas. Jamarco Thomas is the original member of this band. Uh, he has been with me since 2016, 2017. He's one of my best friends. He brought me a beautiful godson into the world. He just had his second baby with his wife, Courtney. Shout out to the fam. Uh, when y'all make your family band, please include me. Uh, I am the godfather in this case, and I would like to play the cowbell. Thank you so much. So uh, let's show you a little bit of Jamarco's goodness over at Fretboard Brewing Company. 
My little love is love. Come on, video, play for me. Play as that. Glitchy damn video, yeah. I think I say this every time I see a video of Jamarco, but is he wearing an undershirt? How's he popping through that sweater like that? Looking like kids gap baby models with those big, big pecs. Maybe kids gap is inappropriate, but what happens if you're a kids gap model and then you don't get to be an adult model? Are your feelings hurt? Or did you just grow out of that face of your life? I wonder these things. Mmm, Jamarco Thomas. Oh, and then that pretty ride symbol. Hot diggy damn, Nick me hand. Hot diggity damn. Okay, who's left the J's? I'll give you five seconds to guess. Counting down. Losing hope. Thinking about it. Thinking about Jason Branscom, the juice, everybody. Double J. All right, let's check him out real quick. This is a great pick of Jason as well. Uh, I think, Jordan, you took that at, uh, at Rock Pickwell, right? We're doing Rock Pickwell again in 2022. Make sure you get hyped to go up to uh, a little something, something. I don't even know where Pickwell technically is. Like, middle of Ohio, which honestly sounds like the worst description you could give any event if you want people to attend. But Rock Pickwell is a badass event. So make sure you come out and see us. We should have the whole horn section. It should be bumping. Uh, Jason is one of the newer additions to our band. And he has brought so much love and funk to the group. Uh, he has a crazy history of touring with a lot of great funk bands, including, like, I think he was on the road with the Stone City Band, Rick James Band, for a little bit. I know he's played with Parliament for a little while. The dude's just been around. Um, you know, I would assume with the amount of bands he's played in, he's probably 79, 78 years old. But I think truly he's in his 40s. I don't know. We, I go back to that episode with Jason. I think he tells us his age, but he might just knock on Chris Keith's age, which is quite offensive. Now, Chris Keith might be 112 years old. Doesn't look it, but definitely smells like an old book. Uh, let's check out Jason here on that Tornado. <laughs> Come on, son. thing about trombone is those notes in between the notes it's just such an ambiguous instrument it takes so much finesse to play jason rips it man a shout out to one of our mutual favorite trombone players in town mr spencer mark uh also an incredible musician we need to get him out of that self list when we can't have jason we want spencer baby we'll figure it out figure it out the recruiting process is difficult. We don't have the benefits that the military does, and they're taking all our good players. Moving on. Sorry about that Marine Corps band, but we're looking for love over here. And we do have we do have vouchers. Um, I can get you a couple of buy one, get ones over at Fritch, Frisch's. I got a plug now. So uh, make sure you stop by the breakfast bar and say what up to my man. All right, moving on. We're talking more about the big crash in the upcoming weeks. But again, get your tickets right now. Uh, get the butter bundle if you want to ball out. Get the general admission if you want to keep playing Jane. But uh, that show is going to be on March 4th. Uh, doors are at 7. If you get the butter bundle, you get the early admission around 6 o'clock. The show will start at 8 o'clock. Uh, and let's talk about the rest of the band real quick. We have uh, Johnny Disco on the bass, Nick Hack on the drum kit, Nick Meehan on percussion, Jamarco Thomas on the keys, Jason Branscombe on the trombone, Chris Keith on the saxophone and the flute, and Jimmy Klepper on the opening act to see you in the funnies band himself. I love Jimmy to death. I am so excited to have him as part of the show, so make sure you get your tickets right now on the website, mattwarsmusic.com. Do yourself a favor and get yourself some flavor. Okay, moving on. Let's talk about the road last week. Uh, we started the trip off in Asheville, North Carolina, moved on to Aberdeen, uh, took it south to Columbia, and then we uh, came back through Nashville, Tennessee, played at Alley Taps. Uh, shout out to Alley over at Alley Taps who booked us there for gas taps. It's always a good-ass time. Um, we saw an amazing band after us. I wish I knew the name of the band. I don't know if they have one yet. But uh, Brooks, amazing set brother. Really enjoyed it. Here's a little bit of our goodness with some of this new EP material. Come on. 
Also, shout out to Sean, the sound guy, man. Always making it sound nice. You know, I've been watching that foosball, getting excited about this Bengals Super Bowl game. And I see some of the uh, the hip linemen like to cut out the armpits of their shirts. I'm thinking about cutting the armpits out of that jacket. Add a little fringe of my own, if you know what I mean. That was gross. My bad, everybody. <laughs> it did come up with a pack of American spirits. Um, I don't smoke cigarettes, but when I saw that online, I thought it would come with spirits. So it worked out well. They were used, which is way gross. Uh -huh. Nikki do. Nice time work, Nick. Nice. Someone's out to me. I'm say it's Kevin. I think it's me. <laughs> now, I will say, if there's one thing I'm still frustrated with the Helix on, it's that wah pedal. It's just, it's a little bit more stiff than what I'm used to. I might start bringing out my, uh, my Wilson mini wah, just to have something on the side. Like, I, I love it for a volume pedal. I've never had a volume pedal before, so it's a nice, like, in between, especially for, like, delay swells and things like that. But still figuring that thing out slowly but surely. I, I will say, I love not having an amp anymore. Oh, and this effect is like, it's, it's almost like a pog. If you ever used a pog, so it's a, an octave above and an octave below, so it's a thick. Come on, boys. Speaking of, Jordan, do you mind checking out how many views are on the uh, the colorful music video real quick? I wonder where that's sitting at. <laughs> oh, I know what happened to it. My bad. We, we did it all on this. Oh, no. The lick, the lick, the lick. Actually, Nashville has a, a different lick, and it's called the chair. And, uh... It's way less tasteful than the look. Okay. Okay. Well, if you haven't checked out the music video for Colorful yet, please, please get your shit together. Go watch that. Drink some rope dust and maybe trip a little bit. Enjoy the colors. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. All right. Let's move on to what seems to be uh, the fan favorite of the new EP, which surprises the hell out of me, but from the feedback I've gotten, Teeter Totter is by far the most popular, so let's check this out. Also, those LEDs back there spasm. I think I lose my scarf on this song slowly. Like, watch where it's at right now, right at the top of the guitar. It's just gonna wiggle a little bit up. And a little bit more up. Ooh, McClevin. Man, I was thinking last night that I need to buy a new computer. These things are glitchy. Y'all won't see the glitchy, but we see the glitchy. Come on. Hey. 
So Kevin's been stickering up that P-Bass, and I love the additions. Uh, if you have righteous stickers, please send them to Kevin. He is moving next week. He's in Los Angeles right now. I actually have all of his bases in this basement, um, and I will be keeping them. But Kevin's moving to Nashville, so my Nash friends, please welcome our buddy into your town lovingly. Uh, make sure you catch his sets. I don't know who always going to be playing with him. I'm sure it's going to be a lot of folks. Yeah, sending you nice stickers for him. Yeah, see, I'm losing the scarf. What's going on with this? I need more uh, more tension on the back of my neck. Maybe it's just tied to the back of my cheddar. I'm trying to grow the hair out. I'm currently at a crumb. I need to get to a ponytail, but I'm currently at a crumb. Well, that is Nashville, everybody. It was a wonderful week on the road, a wonderful first month. Uh, we're very excited about what is to come this year, so let's talk about some of these other tour dates really quick and get on out of here. Uh, starting with the locales, uh, February 14th, we have a very special episode of the Monday's Muse at Latitudes featuring Kevin Fox and uh, Ronnie Vaughn. This is the Valentine's Day uh, event of the year. I guess there's only one Valentine's Day. But please, come out to the Monday's Muse. It's going to be hot. It's going to be sweet. Ronnie told me he may not show up if the Bengals win, so uh, pray for a loss. No, I'm kidding. Uh, does someone drag Ronnie out there if he tries not to show up? February 17th, I'm at the Little Miami Brewing Company with my homie Chandler Carter. That show starts at 6 uh, February 19th, I'm back at Little Miami, opening up for Samuel Harris from The Voice. Uh, that's going to be in the Little Miami Event Center, so get your tickets online for that. That show starts at 8 o'clock. Uh, February 19th, every single Sunday night, I'm at Fish Bowl at the Banks. So uh, make sure you get together, come get yourself a bowl. Uh, for the acoustic dates, again, I'm going to be at the Little Miami on uh, February 19th, on March 16th. And 17th, I'm going to be on the road with Tommy Lee. We're going to Indianapolis, Indiana, and then Louisville, Kentucky to play at the Tin Roof. Both those shows start at 9 o'clock. This is the first time Tommy's coming out on the road with me. We're going to be promoting some of her upcoming tunes. Uh, Currently working on EP together. It's very exciting stuff. And then for the full band dates, we just added a couple. So make sure you keep up with the website for more details. But on the 24th of February, we are going back to the Village Idiots starting at 9 o'clock. Uh, the trio this month is going to feature Johnny Disco and Nick Heck. Uh, the 25th, we're going to be at C-Bar's Euclid Tavern starting at 9. The 26th, we're going to be at Coda Tremont. So back-to-back nights in Cleveland. Make sure you get to one of them at least. Uh, hopefully we can hit the studio with my man Nate Glebe, who actually did the engineering on Teeter Totter. Shout out to Nate. Uh, we love your space, brother. Um, the 24th of March, we just announced that we're going to be in NYC at the Red Lion in the Upper East Village starting at 7 o'clock. Um, the 25th of March, we are going to be making our debut in Arlington, Virginia at the Renegade. That show starts at 10. Uh, and then the 21st of April, we'll be in Indianapolis, Indiana at the Tin Roof. That show actually starts at 5 o'clock. And uh, we may have a 420 show pop up in Chicago with my homie Chandler. That is still TBD. But that's it for episode 62 of The Wave, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, go back to the home shows. Go back to the home shows? Yeah. Tin Roof tomorrow night. Tin Roof tomorrow night. If you're watching it on Wednesday, it's tonight. I'm 10 to 1 at the Tin Roof for the Cyclones after party. So if you get down with Dollar Beer Night, come hydrate yourself up for a little bit with me at the Tin Roof. Ah, and Fishbowl's the 20th. Okay. So uh, once again, tomorrow night, Wednesday, I'm going to be at the Tin Roof. And as you know, every single Sunday night, I'm at Fishbowl at the Banks. That's it for the wave, y'all. Much love. Peace, everybody.